the promise of America has always been your kids can do better than you. The American dream is dead. We're not finding steady employment, we're not earning as much money, and we're not living in big fancy houses. Americans are still reeling a decade after the Great Recession. In reality, the concept of the American dream took shape amidst the Great Depression. In his 1931 work, Epic of America, James Truslow penned the notion that the American dream envisions a nation where life is improved, enriched, and more fulfilling for all, with opportunities accessible to each individual. The aspiration for children to achieve a higher quality of life than their parents is a universal sentiment. In the United States, this belief is often regarded as a fundamental element of the American dream. The notion of providing a better life for one's children has been a compelling factor that has attracted generations of immigrants to this nation. Majority of economic growth in the United States in the last three decades has been accrued by a small, affluent minority. Income inequality has reached unprecedented levels, exemplified by the fact that the top 1% possesses more wealth than the entire bottom 50% combined. If you are a member of the working or middle class in the United States, your life has not improved in the last 40 years. The disparity in wealth contradicts the essence of the American dream. The nation's financial vulnerability is evident. As per the Federal Reserve, nearly 40% of Americans lack the means to address a $400 unexpected expense. Over the past five decades, although average household income has risen by 16%, housing expenses have surged by 190% and college tuition has skyrocketed by 260% within the same time frame. This escalation is pushing the American dream further out of reach for many. The rise in economic inequality in the U.S. is tied to several factors. These include technological change, globalization, the decline of unions, and the eroding value of the minimum wage. The pandemic has laid bare the vulnerability of the American system. A staggering 85% of the American workforce is engaged in small and medium-sized enterprises, which have shown heightened susceptibility in the economic downturn. Nearly 50% of the U.S. labor force is employed in low-wage positions with an average annual income of less than $20,000. The growth in income in recent decades has tilted to upper-income households. At the same time, the U.S. middle class, which once comprised the clear majority of Americans, is shrinking. Around half of the American population perceives housing affordability as a significant issue. Since 1985, housing prices have surged by 393%, whereas the median household income in the United States has only grown by a mere 17% when accounting for inflation. Teamed with increased mortgage rates, the current exorbitant housing costs have rendered homeownership a less feasible prospect, especially for younger individuals grappling with substantial student loans and having limited accumulated wealth. In order to cover their expenses, an increasing number of Americans are resorting to using credit cards and other credit lines. This trend has pushed credit card debt to reach a staggering $1 trillion. As of now, American households are burdened with $11 trillion in debt, marking a 25% surge from the pre-COVID figure of $9 trillion. While inflation does play a role in the swift increase, it's not the most alarming factor when assessing the financial well-being of the typical American. The foundation of the American dream rests on a straightforward concept. Work hard and it will come true. Somewhere along the way, this notion was abandoned and the nation has been inattentive to a burgeoning crisis. The urgency for America to wake up to this reality and act is essential. 